Well, with another request from Kenneth David Bird on Patreon, it's time I take a look at an old 2000s series called Cramp Twins. <coughs> well, that's none too reassuring. The series was created by Brian Wood, who originated this from his old book series and did nothing else of note after the fact, so that's even more unsettling. It was about two fraternal twin brothers basically just living life, and that's about it. Boy, this series is really not making the case for this being good, now is it? I remember the series being on back when I was a kid, so let's see if it holds up. Though I'm really, really having my doubts. This is Cramp Twins. We start out a family cramp having dinner with the most disgusting noises I've ever heard. Oh, we're off to a lovely start. We see the family with our main characters, Wayne the purple one and Lucian the normal color one, sitting down discussing their food until Lucian starts choking. Hey mom, we just learned the Heimlich maneuver at school. Grasp victim firmly from behind, grip wrists and interlock beneath sternum, and scream firmly. <laughs> My hero. Thanks, girl pants. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez, this show is gonna hurt. We're not even a full minute in, and we've established bad editing, annoying characters, and just plain gross humor. I'm honestly amazed at how fast you can tell people that you shouldn't be watched. That is a feat to me, honestly. But anyway, we cut to Wayne picking on Lucian because sibling rivalry, I guess, with Wayne just sitting on Lucian. No comment. Lucian then tells Wayne he needs to grow up and get a job, even though they're both kids, so that's a pretty stupid statement to make. You know, that makes me realize what doesn't work with this show. Wayne and Lucian's dynamic doesn't feel like real siblinghood or like real people in general. Lucian is a total stick in the mud and not someone whose side you would want to be on. And Wayne is the total opposite, but to a bad degree because he's way too obnoxious. You easily get tired of watching them both and end up wanting to change the channel. Keep in mind, this is still the very beginning of the episode, so this is really going to be a workout to get through. So Lucian comes up with a plan for Wayne to realize he needs to grow up by getting his mother's hair from out of the drain and gluing it to Wayne's face as he sleeps. Okay. Lucian sneaks into Wayne's bedroom that's been laced with a bunch of weaponry, so you already know Wayne's gonna grow up to be a school shooter someday, and glues the hair to Wayne's armpits. Wayne wakes up the next day with hair all over his armpits and some scribbling on his face and- Okay, I can't ignore this any longer. What is with these outlines surrounding them? I keep assuming they have some type of nervous twitch like a damn chihuahua. There's no real point to it other than style, but it's honestly more distracting. It doesn't help with anything other than just to be there. Is it to make the animation seem like there's more to it? Well, mission failed because this animation is way too damn basic. And while we're on that, why are some of the characters multicolored? Wayne and Lucian don't share any of the skin traits with their parents, so it makes you question, are they even related to those people? But here's the thing, the intro tells us otherwise. And honestly, it's more off-putting with these character designs. They just look so ugly and dull, like they wanted to go for wacky but sensible in the same sense, but gave up halfway. But I digress. Wayne wakes up the next day horrified that he has hair on his body, and his dad gives a very pedo smile. Wayne goes to school with a newfound confidence, even though we had no indication that he would be miserable at school because of this new revelation, so it was basically a poor sense of storytelling, as everyone swoons over his new facial features, which... Come on now, most kids would smooth clown you for showing how unhygienic you are, but... Anyway, Lucian is not happy with Wayne's new popularity as later on he makes a certain classmate of his fall for him. Lucian's friend Mari warns him of how mad Wayne will be when he finds out that the hair is fake. Out of the way, kid! Man needs bathroom! Oh, you certainly do. You're beginning to smell like a pool cat. Oh, Wayne, dear, now that you are a man, um, well, you'll need these to disguise the unpleasant odors that are part and parcel of maturity. Okay! 
Jesus, why did they make this guy so annoying? He couldn't even say okay like a normal fucking person. That's what really irks me more about this series, the way the characters act is grating. No one feels genuine, they act like someone who's never seen people would write them. Their comedy and interactions overall are just plain weak and even boring. It makes it very difficult to hold investment in this series or anyone in it. But moving on, Wayne's dad Horace takes Wayne underwear shopping and has him pose right in the open. Horace's boss, Mr. Winkle, shows up in his underwear accompanied by his daughter. This fucking show. Wayne Griffin's big pants. Where's the girl to look? Don't embarrass the boy, honey. Looking good, Wayne. This show is just full of perverts. The daughter convinces Wayne that he should get a suit and it just shows more and more why this show should not have been a thing. It's so damn boring. Most of the time characters are just meandering about not doing anything interesting. It really is not hard to believe why this show didn't resonate with people. You can't see yourself relating to anyone or the situations at hand. Back to the episode. Wayne gets ready to meet back up with Horace's boss and daughter and honestly it just pads out the runtime because why not? Wayne finally meets up with the boss to hear about a job offer even though he's still a freaking kid so can't wait to hear about those child labor law violations that's gonna hit that business. Mr. Winkle ends up telling Wayne that he'll end up marrying his daughter which completely freaks him out, understandably so because this isn't fucking India! Jesus Christ! Wayne freaks out and runs back home to say he doesn't want to be a man. I don't wanna walk like a man! I don't wanna smell like a man! You could always have a bath, Wayne. Oh, Lucian's right, Wayne. A bath would help wash away the bath, bath! <laughs> oh, bath! Hormones. And the episode ends with Wayne finding out that the hair is fake and him getting revenge on Lucian for the fake out by gluing the hair to Lucian's eyebrows. But if I can just keep a low profile and do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him! See? I told you he looked like an owl! <laughs> hey, he really does! <laughs> that is a breakable toy! And that's the end. Boy, oh freaking mighty was this a slog to get through. The characters were annoying and the entire situation was not very interesting. It doesn't really do much with its premise other than the most bare bones basic bitch ideas. It's baffling that anyone thought this should be a series. In fact, if I'm right, it got four seasons. That's, that's questionable in my mind is wondering what the hell was anyone thinking. I really do wonder. But you know what? I'm feeling a little generous today, so we'll sit through, or more or less, try to sit through one more episode to see if this really is as bad as we think. And I already regret saying that. We start the episode with Lucian and Mari protesting some gym dress code where girls have to wear skirts, which... <sighs> this series was made by some perverts. It doesn't help that we get a bunch of panty shots, one of them being on Lucian during this little protest. I wouldn't be surprised if the creator was arrested sometime after this series. So after that little pervert parade, Lucian gets sent to the principal's office where he's told he could get expelled unless he takes the alternative of switching families with Mari. See this, this is what really doesn't work with this series. It's slice of life, but they come up with these gimmicks that you would never see happen. When making a slice of life series, you are confined to the realms of real life and have to write based around what goes on in real life. When you make up gimmicks, it takes the audience out of it and realize you're just making shit up to pretend you're interesting, but you're ultimately not. These gimmicks could work if you were establishing that this is not our world and more just something that's more a mirror or some type of commentary on it, like say Family Guy or Simpsons or hell, even that new album in the Chipmunk series. But here, they don't really establish the big difference other than characters act like weirdos and have weird skin tones. The situations can feel like they have some connection to the things we do, but they're way too unrealistic and treated in an unrealistic way, so we lose relatability to any of it. Lucian goes to meet Mari's family who are total sticks in the mud who won't let him have any fun by placing so many rules down. Then we cut to Mari adjusting to Lucian's family just for them to go right back to Lucian. Well, that was kind of pointless. Whatever, we're back with Lucian, who's having a hard time getting used to his life with Mari's family. Wave, Lucian. It was going too fast. They wouldn't even see. Show 
with the love. Rule one, Lucian. By choosing to be different, this P was disrespecting us all. You fucking people. Lucian then proposes Mari's brother and sister, Calvin and Judith, play with him before bedtime. They go and play, by which I mean they just sit there until it's time to go to bed. Like, come on now. Lucian finds these makeshift toys under their bed, which they're not allowed to play with because it violates the rules, much like how this show is violating my brain cells. We go back to Mari with Lucian's family just to go back to Lucian. Seriously, they literally had nothing for this episode. They just have characters meandering about just to pad out the runtime. It doesn't even feel like there's anything to gain from watching it. But I digress. Lucian still continues to struggle with the brother and sister blaming him for things he didn't do while Mari just keeps dicking around with Lucian's family and you know what this episode really isn't gonna go anywhere anytime soon so we're just gonna skip ahead. I'm moving right along, dug -a -dug, dug -a -dug. Lucian pays Mari a visit and she gives him advice telling him to use the rules against the family. <laughs> While you were out, I took the liberty of invoking rule number one. By being different, this yellow chair was disrespecting us. Ditto the pink table lamp. I am afraid I discovered playthings, and in accordance with rule 559, ordered their immediate destruction. Mari's family has had enough and sends Lucian back home after Mari plays a trick on Wayne and Horace by having them think there's treasure buried under the school which results in Horace digging up the gym floor and having the gym closed. The next day class is outside and the episode just ends with no new lesson learned and some more goddamn panty shots again. And that's the end. This suck, this suck, this suck, this suck, this suck, this suck, this suck. This suck. It sucks more than a fucking vacuum. It sucks more than a black hole. It sucks more than a prostitute with very low rate. It just plain sucks. The characters are annoying and very unrelatable. The episodes lack focus or just basic direction. And it just is overall boring. It numbs the mind so much, you might need to take a trip to the doctor to make sure you didn't suffer from Dane Bramage. It's so goddamn boring. This show faded into obscurity for a good reason, and I can't wait for it to fade completely from my memory again. <laughs> and that's the review. Thanks for watching, and always remember, your brain can forget. <laughs>